Thank you so much for tuning in to this special episode of Parentless Podcast. I am your host, Stephanie Relliford. Today is Sunday, June 20th, 2021. Over the last several weeks, people have been calling in and leaving messages to or about their fathers. If you participated in this project, I thank you so much. I know this was a difficult thing to ask, and I really appreciate you sharing your heart with everyone here. Hey, Stephanie, it's Jeff. Uh, I just wanted to leave a message for my dad. So here we go. Hey, Pat. That's number three. Okay. I'm doing my best every day to keep your memory alive and spread the wisdom that you shared with me. Miss you every day, but I know I'll see you again. Love you. Hi, I'm Megan, and I'm the daughter of John and Mary. Hi, Mom and Dad. It's Stage. I really miss hearing you call me that. Thank you for showing me how to love, and thank you for showing me you really aren't that far away. Keep the signs coming, please. I love you both so much. Hey, Dad. It's Cindy, and I was calling to tell you that I miss you, and there's just so many things that I wanted to say about missing our evening routines. The other day on Facebook, I was reminded of the day I took you to the grocery store and we ran the wheels off of your walker, but we still found those tomatoes you were looking for. And I think on the way home, we stopped at Sonic for your favorite ice cream, and I miss all of those things. And I just want to say thank you, Dad. You were the best. Hi, Dad. Happy Father's Day. I really can't believe it's, it's my third one without you already. Um, I'm taking Holly and Annie to Cape May this weekend, which I know is something you would have done and you would have loved. And I'm really glad that I can spend Father's Day with them, kind of reminiscing and honoring you and all that you were and how much you loved us. I miss you every single day. I constantly talk to you and I hope you hear it. <laughs> And I just, I do, I love you. I miss your laugh, I miss your voice. I miss you making fun of me. I miss, I miss everything. Um, I hope, I hope you can kind of see how much I'm trying to make you proud. I love you, Dad. Happy Father's Day. Hi, Dad. It's been almost 11 years since you left and it really doesn't get any easier. You have taught me a lot, and I am grateful for all the things that I have learned from you. But there is one thing you taught me that has haunted me all of my life, which is to protect my feelings and to bottle them up safe and sound within myself. This not only has hindered my relationships with the people that I love, it leaves me with a cycle of guilt and regret each time I allow it to silence me. I drove over 1,400 miles with the full intention of stepping out of my comfort zone and to spend that time with you expressing my feelings for the love and love for you. But instead, I ended up going back to my safe place and having shallow, everyday conversations with you as if it weren't, as if you weren't about to leave this earth. I couldn't even suck it up enough even when I knew you were dying. What I do know about you, because I know it about me, is that even though you bottled up your feelings, safe and secure, with just yourself, you loved deeply, you felt deeply, and you cared deeply. You were very sentimental, actually. I learned that through all your actions. You were the one that kept our cards throughout the years our pictures, and any kinds of trinkets that held memories. It both comforts me and haunts me at the same time. It haunts me because we both sat there together in your last days, both too scared to outwardly express basic human emotions with one another as father and daughter. But it also comforts me to know that we each probably knew that about each other and understood that about each other and that you knew how much I wanted to open up to you and how much I loved and appreciated you. I can't turn back time 
and do anything differently than I already did. But I can just try to be better and not carry on that silly fear and insecurity. If I'm able to actually suck it up and call the number and say this out loud, that's a step in the right direction. I love you, Dad. Thanks for listening. Bye. Hey, Dad, it's me. I don't know what you would say if you saw me today. Can you see me? Maybe you can. I don't know. I can't imagine you as an old man. I can't imagine you as a grandpa. You will forever be 49. All right, Dad, I think that's it. I look forward to uh, maybe exploring a little bit of whatever relationship this is now. Thanks for everything.